We create blues, jazz, rock and roll, reggae, ska. We invent all of that shit. And to top it off, we invent all the modern shit that you all use. From the cart, the video game cartridge, Henry Lawson, huh? We got the, uh, we got the pacemaker, Otis Boinkin. We have the late, um, Dr. Bath, who created the laser eye surgery. We have Dr. Gladys, who's still alive, who's almost 80 years old, who created GPS. We have the guy who created the algorithm for Instagram, who's a 21 year old Ghanaian kid. We've done all this shit. Then the internet was discovered by a Nigerian guy in the 80s. Like, we've done all of this innovation, even though we've been shit on. We create blues. Hallelujah. Shalom. With real Hebrew Israelites come to you week in, week out, prophesying the return of the Most High and His Heavenly Son. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles out in New York, Great Millstone, and GMS. Honors to all Akeba, rather, pled it. It's like you lifted up the day, but Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. This is Brother Uriah from Great Millstone, Chicago, and I'm jumping straight into it with another lesson. And Brother sent me this, uh, uh, or posted up in our little group, you know, uh, this TikTok or whatever it is. I think it's TikTok. Um, and I, I actually was going into this with someone else not too long ago. And I have, um, you know, I was showing them, you know, if you take away all the black inventions, the world would be in the dark ages, which proves that we're the Israelites by blood. All right. Um, so first and foremost, give all praise and honor and glory, Yahweh, Shem, Shai, double honors, apostles out in New York, Great Millstone, GMS, honors to uh, all came around the planet, lifting up the name Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, and truth and sincerity, if I didn't say it before. Um, but we, if you take away all the inventions in the world today of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, the earth would be in a dark state, a, uh, uh, it would be... You know, they used the Dark Ages, which they were really, they very go, they go way off in the Dark Ages, because the Dark Ages was, was run by so-called dark people, Jake, over in Europe, and we can prove that, but it's a whole other lesson. Um, but you, some of the castles, some of the buildings in the, you know, places where they had heated floors, heated hardwood floors, they would pump warm water underneath them so they can have heated floors. There's a lot of te technology and ingen ingenuity going on for thousands of years. OK, mm -hmm. but if you take away all in this modern day, the last several hundred years for sure, and we can go back. You take away everything that the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American made, you wouldn't be here or your time here on the earth would be uh, very uh, agricultural and original. Going back to the candlelight wax oil to light, it'll be it will be very it, you, you, matter of fact, let's let's let's, let's, let's go jump into it. All right. First of all, let me start off with the scripture. Um, let's start off with the scripture. I have several pulled up. I need to set everything up. Um, let me start off with the uh, Jeremiah ten sixteen. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. So who's this, who's the primary object of discussion here? In verse 16, Yahweh. Yahweh of hosts is his name. Okay? Uh, the portion, let's go look at the word portion. All right? I can just tell you, but I like to just show it. And for people to see it on your own, you learn better, it sticks better. And we do talk and just tell people things, but when you tell someone, it's hearsay until it's proven by fact. So I like to go to the facts, so when I'm telling you, it's fact. So you don't want to listen, that's on you. This is the Hebrew word halak, halak, right? Which is portion, share, part, territory, portion, share, portion, tract, parcel, land, one's portion, one's possession, chosen portion, portion award from God, smooth and seductive flattery, all right? But the root of the word goes into uh, an allotment, all right? What's allotted to you, which is your... Uh, uh, your know, allotment, whatever is allotted, you would go into your inheritance. All right. Uh, what it was so the uh, the allotment of Jacob, the inheritance of Jacob. Uh, matter of fact, let's go just for those who don't know what allotment means. Let's go look up the word allotment. Mm -hmm. Allotment definite meaning. There you go. 
the amount of something allocated to a particular person, like an inheritance. All right. If you get something allotted to you by your father or your uh, your mother, that's called an inheritance. Something that an amount of something allocated to a particular person. Okay. So why we go into these definitions? All right. The things allocated and um, promised, inherited to Jacob is not like them. Ain't like nobody else on the planet, man. For he is the former, Yahweh is the former of all things. He is the former. Now, when you go into that word former, most people think that word former, and I've asked this uh, dozens and dozens of times, and most people think that's former. Um, the artist formerly known as Prince, or um, I was Joan of Arc in my former life, and they always use that version of former. But they don't understand that the root of the word former is form. Form means to create or to make. Yat tazar, yat tazar, all right? It is to form through the squeezing into shape, fashion frame of human activity, divine activity of creation, of original creation, of individuals at conception, as Israel as a people to frame, preordain, plan, all right, purpose of a situation, all right, to be predetermined, preordained, to be formed. Form, potter, fashion, maker, frame, make, former, earthen, purposed. Through the squeezing into shape, to mold into a form, especially as a potter, figuratively to determine. Okay? Fashion, form, frame, make, maker, potter, purpose. Earthen, we went through all that. All right. So, let's go back then. It says, the portion, the allotment, the allocation... The, the things supposedly given to Jacob is not like them. Ain't like nobody else on the planet. For he is, Yahweh is, the former. He's the maker, creator of all, all things. And Israel, the 12 tribes, is the rod of his inheritance. So, in Yahweh hosts is his name. So, would not the creator of everything who gives the inheritance to an allotment to his 12 tribes, wouldn't it be the greatest because he made everything? They're not the most. He said he's the creator of all things. So if he's the creator of all things and he has children, would not they be creators? Like the scripture says, be ye perfect as I am perfect. Follow me. Be ye followers of me. Be like me. Be godly. Be godlike. Well, one of the things of being godlike is creation and creating. Okay. So let's go see if the Lord gave somebody in the scriptures. Uh, uh, let's see if the Lord put other scriptures that show you that there are, you know, Jake had that spirit. Matter of fact, let's start here. First John 2 and 20. But ye, the Israelites, the true Israelites, the righteous practicing Israelites, have an unction from the Holy One. And ye know all things. Ooh. See, now, first of all, spiritually speaking, I will address that scripture pertaining particularly, well, most importantly, to the understanding of the scriptures, okay? Understanding the way and the prophecies and the will of the Lord that he is defined through the scriptures. He's given us the full unction of that. But guess what? The Lord's given us unction to know, to do, to create. The Lord's also given us unction to how to, how to reason the diversities of men. Wisdom of Solomon, um, the seventh chapter, he says he's given us the understanding to know know all that, m m know to know everything. Matter of fact, I said it. Now I have to go there. All right, because now I want to I want to prove that. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter. And I'm not gonna read the whole chapter. I'm gonna try to go jump in if I can find it. Um, because it's talking about wisdom, wisdom. All right, yeah, and how wisdom. Uh, oh, I got to start right here. Okay, seven. Wherefore, I prayed and understanding was given me. What kind of understanding? First and foremost, like I said, spiritual understanding will be the first and foremost. Uh, 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 will, will be the most important understanding to gather you to salvation. Because you'll be an invent, inventor of some of the most creative things on the planet. You know what I'm saying? And be one of the most wickedest motherfuckers on the planet. All right? I'm not saying that's the case or have or any specific thing. But there are inventors of bad things and inventors of good things. But you, my whole point is, just because you create stuff don't mean you're righteous. And that's my point. 
I ain't like it. All right, this is, um, wherefore I prayed and understanding was given me. Understanding, the scripture says, um, matter of fact, um, there's a spirit in the man, and the most high gives them inspiration. Yeah, matter of fact, let me get that um, in Job. I think it's uh, the 40, 34 chapters in inside the school inspiration. Job 32 and 8. I was about to say 34. Glad I just did that and make it simple. But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. The breath, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High gave us, us understanding to do what? Whatever He wants us to do. Because all the creations that we create actually are creations the Father imports to us. All right? Imports and parts to us. Either way, because it both means sense, makes sense. And it's given from the Lord. So it's nothing that we can create that was not created by the Father. He just opens up and shares and giveth us the understanding. Okay? Let's make sure we got that clear. Let's go back to Wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter. All right? He said, and, and uh, wherefore I prayed and understanding was given me. I called upon Yahweh, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her before scepters and thrones, and esteemed riches nothing in comparison of her. Neither compared I unto her any precious stone, because all gold in respect of her is as a little sand, and silver can be counted as clay before her. Why? Because the wisdom of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai already made those things that we call precious. We, we don't, oh, look at that. No, you can't look at that. You got to look at the Most High, because the Most High made that. Okay? I'm going to jump down a little bit, just for hitting more on the point's sake. Um... Ah, verse 13, I learned diligently. In order to be able to even invent, you have to be diligently seeking or pursuing the understanding of particular things. Now, why would Jake have the, that desire of particular understanding of particular things? Because, first of all, a lot of this, this, the inventions we made was because we were enslaved, doing hard-ass work, and with the, doing hard-ass work, laborious without any tools, all right? Without any mechanisms, machines, engines of sorts, it's hard. So while we're trying to sit up there and sweep, or well, let's say we can say sweep because before we had to say sweep, the floor is dirty, clean the flow. We had two, uh, two hands with four fingers and two thumbs. And you can go sit there and pick it the hard way, or you can fuss it. Let me give me a broom. What, what is a broom? There's no such thing as a broom. You know what? Okay, give me give me uh, a stick, and let me put some uh, uh, straw at the end of it. Let me put a little cord around the end of it. Let me sweep this. Now I can easily get all these little pieces up instead of spending five hours picking the shit with my hands. And I'm just giving you just an, 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 an example. If you was up there, I you needed to to uh, to to get wrinkles out of some. Well, damn, how do I get wrinkles? Out? Well, I notice every time I lay it over there by some steam or some heat, it kind of gets the wrinkles out. Oh, you know what? I need to iron it. Let me come come up with a way to iron it out. And of course, iron would have came up after you would use some iron, heated it up, put it on a um, on some flat fabric cloth, where just flatten it out. It all comes through a process of we're going through something, looking for understanding. The Lord give us the understanding. We make it create it and if it's really good it lasts and everybody else wants to use it all right wisdom of solomon uh verb seven thirteen. 13 uh i learned diligently and do communicate her liberally i do not hide her which riches the riches of wisdom and the tree will be known by its fruit so if wisdom has fruit it'll be you'll see it through inventions or writings or words or actions or deeds you'll see evidence of that and um evidence of wisdom especially when it's pertaining to particular things inventions is the spirit of the lord open up their mind to give them understanding on how to create it i like malcolm said he's created certain things that people stole that he would be a millionaire right now i've created certain things that i didn't put out there then i don't use speak on them because i don't want nobody else to do it if i ain't gonna do it you ain't gonna do it uh, <laughs> unless you give me credit for it and give me some money on it they're saying i'm a baseballer i found a way uh, um, to how always make the umpire call right, uh, the right call if it was an actual strike or not. You know what I'm saying? There's ways to do that. All right. It's, it, the Lord gives us shortcuts to doing things. That's what the Lord deals. All right. That's how the Most High moves. Okay. Um, let me jump down a little bit. All right. Here we go. Verse uh, 16. Ah, no, 15. God has granted me to speak as I would and to conceive, 
come up with, to make up and bring up things in my mind. As a matter of fact, let's go on that word conceive real quick. Conceive. Ooh. The, okay. Could become pregnant with a child. Or, here, verse point two, verse two. Point two. Form, uh-oh, the former of all things. Or devise a plan or an idea in the mind. It comes out, the Lord gives the inspiration to the mind, which causes you to form or to devise. And next thing you do, you create. I'm a creator or an inventor of music. The Lord gives me music and I hear it in my spirit. I can't articulate it because I didn't come up with it myself. When I try to come up with music, it's very hard and laborious. And I labor it hours to produce one song. When the spirit puts a song in my spirit, it's like, do, 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 do. And the Lord will put it in my spirit. I lie, I didn't know I was going to do that. Do, 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 do. And it's like the Lord put it in my spirit. Like, and then I'll elaborate on the next thing you know, I have a, 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 a composition. Okay, I'm just saying from a creator's standpoint of view. I also write, and well, I used to write. I don't write no more. But I used, well, I used to write poetry and books and all that stuff, uh, uh, poem, um, uh, plays and all kind of crap, you know, movies, screenplays, whatever. I don't do all that now because my my focus is on the Most High, and that's not going to gender to anything on, at this time. That can be later on in the kingdom, but they ain't going to be doing now. Nah. All right, but the Lord has given His people His inheritance, His inheritance, which is His sons. All right, and his daughters. He's given them certain skills, certain con conceptions, all right, that come into their mind to make them do certain things to help all of us out. Okay? Wisdom Psalm 7, going back to verse 15. God has give, granted me to speak as I would and to conceive, to come to form as is meet for the things that are given me. All right. He gives us things. OK, you, you can do better if you go ahead and watch about the bam. Oh, you can help this better if you do such and such. Boom. And when you go ahead and when you want to plant, go ahead and put an ox and go ahead and get behind an ox with this piece of metal, piece of some hard thing to break up the ground. And you haven't walked in a straight line. It's going to be easy for you to just go behind and pop seeds in versus you going down there digging one hole. Bam, do another digging a hole. Bam, do it. You're going to take you two, two weeks just to plant versus it's going to take you two or three days to plant. The Lord tells us these things to what? To help our lives be better. Okay, and easier. All right, so we have more time to praise him and focus on him and enjoy the things that he's given us. Oh, the most I is so amazing. I, all right, verse um, 16. God has great 15. God, God has granted me to speak as I would and to conceive as it is meet for the things that are given me because it is he that leadeth unto wisdom and directeth the wise that's so plain i'm gonna keep moving for in his hand are both we and our words all wisdom also and knowledge of workmanship taking that wisdom and applying it to make it practical and applicable to something that's tangible all right a broom, an iron, a, 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 a stove, a refrigerator, an engine, a, um, a light, the filaments for the light bulb, you know, things of that nature. And we're going to get to a list of inventions, all right? I was going to start off with that, but the Spirit said, no, that can come. We can come run through that in a little bit, okay? Uh, verse 17, for he has given me a certain knowledge of things that are. Namely, to know how the world was made and the operation of the elements. See, if you know how the elements operate, then you can make devices that use those elements accurately. You know what I'm saying? Um, the beginning, of in, beginning, ending, and mist of the times, the alterations and turning of the sun, and the changing of the season, the circus of years, and the position of stars, the natures of living creatures, and the furies of wild beasts, the violence of winds, and the reasonings of men, the diversities of plants, and the virtues of roots, and all... all such things as are either secret or manifest, them I know. For wisdom, which is the worker of all things, taught me. For in her is an understanding spirit, holy, one only, manifold, subtle, lively, clear, undefiled, plain, not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is good, quick, which cannot be let it, ready to do good, kind to man, steadfast, sure, free from care, having all power, overseeing all things, and going through all understanding, pure and most subtle spirits. For wisdom is more moving than any emotion. She passes and goes through all things by reason of her pureness. That's the inspiration of the Most High. For she is the, the word inspire means to breathe, all right? Uh, 
for she is the breath of the power of the Most High and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall into her. So the Most High gives us wisdom to understand the alterations of the turning of the sun, the, um, the natures of living creatures. And he said, all such things is either secret or manifest. So the Lord gives us that wisdom, that conce conceiving ability, and then the understanding to create, to do. And who does he let it rest upon the most? So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Now to prove that, we're going to go into the inventions and we're going to take away, if we take away the inventions, you'll see we're going to be back in the dark ages, okay? Um, let's see, let me get my scripture. I got that one, I got that one. I had pulled, two, I think, two other ones up and then we're going to these inventions and I'm going to um, make it done. All right, for one, um, let me just, just to prove some of these inventions before we go there, the Lord had, just to show you in the scriptures, First Chronicles 26, 15, and he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men. Engines invented, engines invented. I can stop right there. The Lord giveth us, the Israelites, the understanding to invent, and we invented things like engines by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks to shoot arrows and great stones withal. And his name spread far abroad, for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. Now all these other countries have watched the way we built engines and the uh, evolu uh the evolution of engines being created and now we have all types of engines and i'm going to go and show you that the modern day motor engine was also made by a so-called negro okay but even all these uh tanks and these uh these uh firing mechanisms and so forth were started by israelites proof right there Ezekiel 26 and 9 he shall set engines of war against thy walls and with axes he shall break down thy towers all right, um, uh, first Maccabees 5 30. And betimes in the morning, they looked up, and behold, there was an innumerable people bearing ladders and other engines of war to take the fortress, for they assaulted them. All right, and so a lot of the uh, engines made beforehand were engines of war. With that word engine, when you would think of like a motor, but it'll be more like a, uh, um, the, the artillery things that did rapid fire, things that slang and hurled songs and catapulted things and so forth like that okay let's see i had another one. Oh yeah this is um let's see matter of fact just going to the invention i can put invented or invention singular and see more words but i'm just you know following the spirit um matter of fact this show you that there's wicked one and righteous this is psalms 99 and 99 and 8 thou answered them O lord our power Thou wast a God that forgavest them, though thou tookest vengeance of their inventions. Some of your inventions that Jake made and the planet, you know, any person on the planet has made, sometimes it's bullshit and it's wicked, okay? Um, and But we're focusing on the good things, you know, but just have to give you both sides of the quarter. Psalms 106.29. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions and put the plague and the plague break in upon them. Verse 39, thus were they defiled with their own works and went a-whoring with their own inventions. And which has been a problem with Jake. We, we trust in that shit and trust in bad inventions more than we trust in the Heavenly Father. And that's what it comes down to. Everything is about the Heavenly Father. This is all we need to follow and gender into him to understand how to use his things wisely and be in order down here. All right. Proverbs 8 and 12. This is what I was looking for. I, with, uh, I wisdom, dwell in with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions all right with in order to be to have those witty inventions you have to be attuned to hear the spirit of the heavenly father and abide by that spirit which leads you the spirit of wisdom his spirit of wisdom leads to witty inventions okay um uh what's that? i think this is uh songs of solomon seven twenty nine. Lo, this only have, or is it Ecclesiastes? I forgot how they put the QOH. I think it's Ecclesiastes um, 729. Lo, this only have I found, that God hath made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. All right. Some of them are by men of the Lord, uh, people inspired by the Most High, who makes a, a good invention that helps all. And then some are inventions that Jake and the world and people just make up just because, and it is um, like a... Um, Genesis, the, what the sixth chapter said, um, that nothing in their imagination, they, uh, you know, they did everything, whatever they came to mind to do versus wisely, anything that came in their mind, they would do. And I said, without knowledge, without order and without the spirit. So they made a lot of bullshit.
And you go into the artifacts, and I will pull it up if I had, I just don't know where to pull it. I don't feel like spending time searching for the picture. But I know in one of my, uh, um, I think it might be on my website. I'm not sure, but the pictures of the, uh, they had in the hieroglyphs uh, of, of flying devices before flying devices in Egypt. Okay. Let's see. Uh, so, uh, so second edge is six and five. And before the and, and era of the present years were sought out, and or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned, um, before they were sealed with uh, that have gathered faith for a treasure, you know. Just then you know, Lord, Lord knew that. And if you go in that whole chapter, he's saying before he did anything, he thought about it all, even about the people who he knew that he would help to create marvelous inventions that are good, and then some that are bad. Okay, he knew what people would do. Um, second Ezra 8 and 27 regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen but the desire of the, those that keep the testimonies and afflictions all right um i mean uh so you you see that you can see that there's good inventions there's bad inventions and you can see that those that dwell in true wisdom of the heavenly father back to proverbs 8 and 12 i wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions that's the, that's jake man he gives jake that that a power and that ability so now I'm just going to go to some of these and, and give you a, a let's look at, take a look. Now, they'll say paper. Now, they'll trip that to the Egyptians and so forth. But let's remember, and they'll say Africans over here. Remember that sometimes Africans is talking about so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And sometimes Africans is talking about the African so-called uh, uh, Hem people, people who came out of Hem. All right. The Hemites, which is so-called the true Africans. The original so-called Canaanites to the Egyptians to the Sudanese and all that. Those are uh, the Ethiopians and so forth. Those are the true Africans. So um, let's remember who was over there teaching them mathematics. All right. And different, uh, as you see here, they say uh, civilization. First of all, we had to go um, Abraham. He was over there dealing with the, the, the pharaohs and teaching them certain things. And then you had to go Joseph. He was over there and got exalted to second in command for his wisdom and understanding. And without them, Egypt would have failed. Okay. So a lot of those things that they'll, they'll attribute to other societies was Jake and those societies doing the same thing that Jake did in America. Even though they'll say this is an American invention. No, it's not. It was an Israelite invention. Okay. Um, chess. Okay. Alphabet. Proof that alphabet came from the Israelites is the word alphabet is Hebrew. Alpha is Alap and Bet is Bayath. Alap Bayat. The first two letters in the Hebrew alphabet is the word alphabet. I don't have to say nothing else off that. If you can't get that, go look up your Hebrew and we'll talk later. All right. They said medicine. Now, the true medicine ain't no medicine that's come from chemicals. It's medicines from the earth. And I've got to prove that one. Um, as a matter of fact, let me go to this one because this one's uh, what one of the oh yeah this one uh this app apothecary i'm just going to this not too long ago apothecary all right sirach he says here uh yes yes sirach 38 to my own knowledge all right uh and this is cfc for c5 I'm, I'm i will all this is good for the sake of time i want to just get to the point how it was out from the earth um, all right, let's see, uh, super, super slacky, I said, but what, but, um, given position, so, uh, oh, no, almost, yes, first four, the Lord have created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not afford them, so those medicines, those concoctions are actual, uh, uh, this is not conventional pharmacia medicine because you look up the word medicine in, in English it goes back to the Greek word pharmacia or pharmakeia which is pharmacy which is medicine poisonings and um, um, a, a, a potion okay the true medicines are from the earth uh, matter of fact verse 5 was not the water made sweet with wood that the virtue thereof might be known. He has also he has given men skill. That skill is also create vengeance and so forth. That he might be honored in his marvelous works. Things that he creates. 
Okay? All right? And that's that skill and that and those works is that part of those inventions and that medicine would come be come off the earth. Had to say that because otherwise people would think, oh, so black people made, you know, this aspirin, which I wouldn't even be say that's you know, I I wouldn't be surprised if we were behind a lot of that crap too. Aeroplane propelling. So they if you want the plane to fly, you need a nigga. So that means if you happy you jet set to one place on the planet to another place. Thank a nigga. All right. Biscuit cutter. You like eating them Popeye's biscuits? <laughs> Folding bed. I'm, I'm just going to read because I can respond to all this. I'm going to just stop when it comes down to some great things. Uh, even greater things. Coin changer. Rotary engine. So wait a minute. Engine that, that, shit, there go the engine again. <laughs> but a rotary engine. Okay, now we can go just straight to the motor and just go straight to the motor. I'm not exactly, matter of fact, I'm just one curious now. What is a ro what is a rotary? Oh, ro oh, rotary engine. Rotary engine, internal combustion engine in which the so it's the in internal mechanisms that makes the engine work. Uh, internal combustion engine in which the combustion chambers and cylinders rotate. From the driven shaft around a fixed control shaft to which pistons are affixed. The gas pressure of combustion are used to rotate the shift, the shaft. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Early rotary engines were used in World War One aircraft. So you wouldn't be able to fight your wars. You wouldn't be able to drive a car. You wouldn't be able to fly a plane. You even wouldn't run a, a train without a rotary a engine. An engine. Okay, and we just broke that Jake was making engines and mechanisms Going back for three, four thousand years ago. All right. Car coupler. All right. Keeping your trains together. All right. And uh, to my knowledge, that's a couple between train cars. It could be something else, too, with a modern day car. I'm not sure. But I'm not going to break down every single one. I'm just going to keep reading. Um, letterbox. Oh, you got you, you. Every time you see a mailbox, you should be thinking of a nigga. OK. Stainless steel pads. Every time you go ahead and cleaning and taking some of that rust off that iron and shit, think of a nigga. Torpedo discharger. Hey, Russia, and all your, your, your submarines, and you, you're discharging your torpedoes? Think of a nigga. Home security. Oh, wait a minute. Disposable syringe. Do, Dr. Frauchi? <laughs> so like it. Home security system. Oh, you don't want to. That was by the way, Marie Brown, a, a black woman. All right. So you, you, you try to have an alarm system to make sure that they, they, they don't break into your house? They, you, you feel safe and secure? Think a black woman. Corn planter, cotton planter, ironing board, street sweepers, horse bridle bit, horseshoe, lawnmower. See all these crackers making sure their lawn is crispy clean? Cr cr crisp and, and manicured? Think a nigga. All right, typewriter. <laughs> Everybody think a nigga. Uh, train alarm. Image converter for radiation detection. Uh, uh, peanut butter, um, paints and stains, lotions and soaps, uh, automatic fishing reel, ice cream mold, printing press. Man, you wouldn't have no media without the so-called nigga. All right. An envelope seal, laser fuels, pressure cooker, window cleaner, pencil sharper, uh, 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 fire extinguisher, lock. Oh, you, you can lock it, though? Thank a nigga. Shoe lasting machine, lubricators, rocket catapult, elevator. Oh, you can get to your high rise now? Thank a nigga. Gas mask, traffic signal. Oh, you can you don't have to crash all the time? Thank a nigga. Hairbrush. Oh, your shit ain't matting up? Thank a nigga. Heating furniture. Oh, you ain't cold? Thank a nigga. Airship, folding chair. Oh, you can sit down? Thank a nigga. You can have a portable chair. Come on, bro. Hand stamp, fountain pen, dustpan, insect destroyer gun, baby buggy, sugar uh, refinement, clothes dryer. Oh, you can dry your clothes. Thank a nigga. Cellular phone. Thank a nigga for the device I'm using right now to be able to do this video through Henry Sampson. Pressing comb. Uh, Y'all could have uninvented that. Uh, <laughs> curtain rod. Lawn sprinkler. Uh... Automatic gear shift, street sweeper, urinalysis machine, horse riding saddle, shoe, <laughs> shoes, nigga, player piano, 
arm for the record player, doorstop, doorknob, <laughs> photo print wash, um, photo embossing machine, photo postal letterbox, toilet. Oh, you got tired of going to the outhouse? Obviously, the heathens didn't. Niggas did. Okay? <laughs> Furniture caster. Guitar. I mean, I don't want to hear nobody else say shit about rock music. We invented that. All right? And, and all the music we invented. And the music and, and the instruments. All right? Uh, the guitar. All right? Um, golf tee. Motor. Uh, thank you, Brother Jay Gregory, because without the motor, we wouldn't be able to move around. The rotary motor is one part of the motor, but the motor in general was made by a so-called Negro. Um, one in, improved upon it. <clears throat> Thermal hair curlers, lantern, gas burner, kitchen table, bicycle frame, wrench, eye protector. Uh, yeah, Jack Johnson, John, John Johnson. Um, the boxer made that, uh, what do you call it, a monkey wrench. And he called it a monkey wrench because it was a so-called black man. That's why they called it a monkey wrench. And niggas still say, let me get a monkey wrench, not even knowing the history. Eye protector, egg beater, uh-oh, defroster, air conditioning unit. Oh, you'll be blazing in the house until you got an air conditioner. Two-cycle gas engine, internal combustion engine, starter generation, generator, refrigeration controls, all right? Clothes dresser, bottle cap, electric lamp, uh, hydraulic shock absorber, refrigerator. So we got, this, we got the refrigerator. We got the motor, we got the stove, all right? We got all these major inventions. All that we take this away, we'd be back in the dark ages, yo. Mop, stair climbing wheelchair, fire escape ladder, telephone transmitter, electric cutoff switch, relay instrument, telephone system, electro me uh, mechanism brake, galvanic, galvanic battery, electric railroad system, roller coaster. Oh, go to America, Great America and Six Flags and Disney and shit. Into the these little fares, thank a nigga. Um, auto air brake, helicopter, saxophone, super soaker, blood plasma, ice cream, uh, pacemaker controls, guided missiles. See, the most high so cold makes sure we set up y'all destruction. Space shuttle retrieval arm, programmable remote controllers. You glad you don't have to get up? But niggas got tired of getting up to go change the TV. God damn it. Video commander, multi stage rocket. For more inventions, kind of, because it's more, all right. Uh, uh, a stove. I want to get that one. That's T. A. Carrington. Okay. Thermostat control. Keep your 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 stuff regulated. All right. Uh, tricycle. Like I said, stethoscope. Spark plug. Rolling pins. Riding saddle. Record player arm. All right. Some of these are the other ones. So I'm just going to the ones who I didn't mention a uh, four time. All right. Baby buggy. All right. Cable TV booking device, I think it says. Okay, clothes dryer. All right. Female cycle indicator, female cycle predictor. Okay. The egg beater. Come on, y'all. That's the spirit and power of the Lord right there. All right. We are the ones, we are the former of all things through the power of the former of all things. He made sons who form things like their daddy. We stunting like our daddy. Okay? Alright, oh shit. No, I'm showing personal stuff. It's a lot for that. <clears throat> so hopefully this was edifying through the spirit and power. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Rakakradash. Alright? Joel 32 and 8 again. There's a spirit in man and inspiration. The Almighty gives him understanding. Jake is full of witty inventions. Some good, some bad. Alright? But majority of the inventions of the heathens are just wicked shit, bullshit. Because the majority of all the stuff I read there are all the major foundations of what I have in my, in my room. I'm looking at it right now and in my house. And without it, I would be having a much harder life. Okay? And so, if it wasn't for uh, Israelites, uh, black so-called people, the black and browns, this world would be in the dark ages. Hopefully this has been edifying through the spirit and power. Yahweh Bashim El Shabbat Shimmer Kakarash. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh Bashim El Shabbat Shimmer Kakarash. Double honest apostles out in New York, the great Millstone of GMS. And so I came around the planet, lifting up the name of Yahweh Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the Aqua, who are obedient to their husbands. You cannot leapfrog over your husband to get to Yahweh Bashim El Shabbat. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, a Baba Ball, and until next time.